Hello again, and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel. I'm your host, Prince Magnum. Welcome to In Your Face. It's about time that, that I, Prince Magnum, talk about what happened between the city of Bonterre and the whole thing about us having some old mavericks. Let's just say, without too many details, uh, because it could get kind of long and boring, um, that came to an abrupt halt. Um, we had to get tough with some people here on the channel. You know, I had to get tough. I had to get tough. I said what needed to be said. And let me say to all of you who live in Bonterre or have thought about moving to Bonterre, it took what it took, but now our public officials are doing an amazing job. Let's talk about that. The police officer that I that I had to kind of come down on with both feet got off the police force and now works with the city and he's making much better money doing an amazing job. I don't even know what it is, but I hear he's doing great things at City Hall. Um congratulations, buddy. I don't I never you know, other than that one time we had our beef. Um you're doing something better with yourself, you know, and I couldn't be happier for you. I said what needed to be said, and you woke up, you know. Sorry I had to get tough on you, though. Hope you hope you can forgive me in time for getting that tough, but we had to show a little tough love to you. That's all it took. Um, our city prosecutor understood the situation, um, and... We worked out. Um, we worked out some, you know, something. And uh, I, just for the record, Bonterre City Prosecutor is an awesome guy, and uh, I think he's, you know, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. He's really nice. And if you've never met him, you know, uh, you know, if you've never met him, you, I hope all of you one day get to meet him on a personal level. Uh, he's a good man. He's a good man through and through. And. Uh, you know, I'm glad to have had a chance to meet him. Um, beyond that, uh, you know, I had to get a little tough with our with our elected officials, city council, mayor, all that stuff here in Bonterre. I had to get a little tough with them. <coughs> and verbally roughed them up. Since that time, the city of Bonterre has been in a revitalization our city streets have they couldn't I, I are they look great they look great uh, they've been doing an amazing job around the clock and I want to tell you all I'm proud to live in Bonterre um, yeah we had to get a little tough with them we had to say what needed to be said but now we have a town to be proud of all it took was a cold shot of water in the face of the right people and now they're doing a great job uh, we have no hard feelings here on the Prince Magnum channel we said what needed to be said we stood behind our first amendment uh, and now our public officials are doing amazing things since that time the Prince Magnum channel has made friends with uh, the the chief of police and we got to do something cool for him hopefully one day we could do something really special for the entire police department hopefully even the fire department and our EMS um, that's kind of our our dream goal there so even though the Prince Magnum channel operates on such a tight budget uh, if you've seen how tight the budget is, even though we're monetized, we have not made that first check. You know, if you know how the monetization program works on YouTube, you'll understand. So we haven't gotten our first check. We haven't made that much money. Um, but we have been able to to do, you know, to wake up our public officials. They're doing a great job. We can't really take credit for the great job they're doing. All we can take credit for is, hey, wake the heck up. I hope, <laughs> I really hope, there's no bad 
feelings towards us. You know, we, I guess you could say, for those of you at City Hall and those of you who got roughed up that was on the police force, there's no bad blood, you know, on my end. You know, it was just a, a lot of tough love on my end. And I hope that all of you understand it was a lot of tough love. You know, um, I want all of you to be, you know, those of you who live in Bonterre, I want you all to be proud of our elected officials and those who, uh, who got to wear the badge, you know. Um, I want you all to be proud of them. They have done what it takes to make our town great again. And it, only, and it hasn't even taken a year. It took what it took, and I'm proud of them all. You know, uh, and and I know this is almost going to sound poetic, but my heart swells with joy watching how hard that they are working. You know, um, when I when I see the boys, you know, our boys in blue pass by with the lights on, uh, I I almost swell up with tears because I know they're going off to do a great job. I know when I see our road crews. Uh, patching up the city streets or working you know or working on the utilities and whatever my my heart skips a beat knowing that you know that our that our elected officials are doing a great job you know um, putting good people to work making an honest living and John Q taxpayer is you know our money's being wisely spent If that's what it took to do the great job that we see happening here in Bon Terre, you know, getting tough with y'all, I'll take credit for that. You know, so um, that brings us to a point where I want to, you know, give a big special thank you uh, to all of our public servants. And I say public servants, you know, at the city hall level. Uh, our boys in blue, our volunteer firefighters, our uh, you know emergency medical services. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart, even right down to the man who who weed eats the ditches along the city streets. I want to thank you all for doing such a great job revitalizing such a beautiful town like Bonterre. It is a beautiful town. My heart. Like I said, it's just filled with the love for all of you. I'm sorry I had to get tough on all of you. I hope you can forgive me in time. As easily as I have forgotten, you have forgave all of you. You know, yeah, I had to get angry. I had to get tough. I just hope you all can forgive me in time. Now for my challenge. All of you other YouTube channels out there that are making quite a bit more money, you know, lots more money than the Prince Magnum channel. I challenge all of you. If you are making money off of the monetization programs, uh, Patreon, or even fan contributions, I challenge all of you to get involved and help your city as much as you can, wherever you live because we're doing our part here are you doing yours we may not have made that first check and I've got a lot of videos monetized but we're doing our part to try to try to even though we haven't gotten that first check we're already doing our part are you doing yours because if you're not you haven't earned a dime of that money all you're doing is making videos. Your subscribers deserve to see you put back into your communities. So I challenge all of you to do the same, if not more, than we are. That brings us to the end of this very joyful in your face. I'm going to add something a little different today, but here it goes as usual. 
hit the like button hit the subscribe button get out there and work on a project if you have a sweetheart sweep them off their feet and tell them you love them today give your thanks and your love to your public servants and above all if nobody has told you that they love you today Prince Magnum does God bless you and have a happy 24 thank you